The float glass process begins with the delivery of raw materials by truck or rail to the plant batch house. Once fully mixed, the batch material is continuously fed into a large chute which resembles the shape of an inverted doghouse. The melting zone of the furnace operates at approximately 1500 to 1600 degrees Celsius or 2700 to 2900 degrees Fahrenheit. Upon insertion by the chargers, the batch material initially forms a blanket atop the molten glass already within the furnace. Forming takes place within the tin bath. The glass ribbon enters the bath as a liquid at approximately 1100 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit and eventually exits in a nearly solid state at approximately 600 degrees Celsius or 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. The tin bath is where the thickness of the glass ribbon is established. In the absence of process adjustments, the glass ribbon would normalize at approximately six millimeters. Top rollers, known as knurls, can be operated to achieve other thicknesses. Upon exiting the tin bath, the glass is progressively cooled in the annealing lea. It consists of a closed channel followed by an open stretch exposed to forced air. Laser sensors or high-resolution cameras installed along the line capture production data which is evaluated by yield optimization software to direct a robotic cutting system. The ribbon is cut into stock sheets, or sometimes cut sizes. Cutting wheels along the edges of the glass trim away the material indented by the knurls. After cutting, the sheets are prepared for storage. Identification tags are then applied to the packs. 